Hey guys, welcome back to a new video from me. I want to do a bowl, a square bowl again. And my first color, you saw just you saw me just dripping four drops of the mystery liquid from Miss Colorberry. And I'm stirring it very well in my resin. The resin I'm using is the Art Pro resin from the Resin Pro Company, Italian brand. It's a medium viscosity resin and it has a rather long working time. I think the working time is something about 80 to 90 minutes. And now I'm adding to my mystery color a little bit of the baby's breath from Laura's Art Corner. So I'm mixing this very well. And look, it's a nice color it gets. It's a bluish purple with this hint of, of white. I really like it. You know, sometimes it's nice when you mix a little bit your own colors that you just try something. And now I'm mixing my angel white. It's from Lures, but I received it also from Laura. So I'm mixing it a little bit less opaque than I would do with the flowers. Just stirring it very well. And I'm also adding the baby breath mica into my white. These are basically my two colors. By the way, the square mold is from Molds and Shapes. I link Molds and Shapes into my description box. And if you use the promo code PT5, you get 5% discount. I also have a promo discount for Laura's Art Corner. So also please check out my description box if you're interested in her products, because especially the angel white and her glitters are just amazing and of course also her micas <laughs> um, yeah if you use there the promo code pt10 you get 10 percent discount i think it's very interesting for other people overseas like in america and in canada so anyway um i put a at the rim, at the outside, a thin layer of um, clear resin. And now I'm pouring my white on top, also from Raza Up High. And not too thick, as you can see. And now I'm taking my blue mix or blue purple mid mix the mystery and I'm pouring on top of the white. You see also from rather up high with a thin stream. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm taking my clear and I'm filling up my mold. My mold is not um, filled up to the rim. I think there will be missing in total at the final product, maybe two millimeters. So I poured it rather thick, but I didn't um, dome it. So now you see that all the colors are really pushed out to the edges. And yeah, I'm just making sure that I take all the little bits because there were still some bits of the mica which I didn't stir properly that I take this off. And now I'm pouring again with the blue, also rather thin around the edge. And then I'm taking my white and I keep on doing this till my colors are gone. You practically see what I'm doing. Yeah, um, I hope anyway that you like my videos. I would be happy if you give me a thumbs up, 
if you are subscribed to my channel, if you are not. And yeah, always leave me a comment because I adore reading what you are thinking. And yeah, you would really, really support my channel a lot if you would subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Anyway, back to the pore, you see me altering my colors. And you can also see at one side that it's already, you know, dragging to the middle. It's very funny that it's on one side more, even though my, my table is level. I don't know what this sometimes is. Maybe um, that I'm pouring more resin on one side. But at the final product, um, you don't see it. So this is good. Giving it a quick torch. Always be careful with the torch. So I also mix some glass stones and I also put some druzy in there. Druzy is um, a sort of mica from Miss Color Baron. And I mix some glass bits in silver and in purple. The glass bits are from Laura's Art Corner. And I'm just pouring them on top. I'm not saying quite quite the truth because the silver um, glass bits, these I have from Miss Calaberry, but the purple ones they are from Laura. So I'm just making sure I loosen up a little bit my middle because they were like a big clump of stones falling through. So I'm just trying to loosen them a little bit up, give them a little bit shape. But what do you think already about the effects? I think it's almost like a um, ocean themed pour at the moment from this side. I'm sometimes really, really surprised how resin is doing its magic, how, how it's reacting. And with every mold, with every mold design, it's, it's just this little bit different that gives always a beautiful effect and follows the mold. So now I'm just drizzling also some of the glass bits onto the clear part. Just to give it a little bit more depth at the end and also a little bit more interest. And I'm pushing the glass bits a tiny bit down. And that's basically it. Yeah, again, a few of the glass bits because I thought it could have a little bit more. <laughs> there were also hair in my, my pool, so I had to take it out. So this is the close up. And yeah, I'm sorry you see my my um, camera stand, but look at the effects. It's really like ocean themed. <laughs> it's wonderful. So this is the next day and I don't want to comment too much because um, you see me struggling because I don't have such a big bowl. So I thought I'd just lie it on top. And yeah, let the drama begin. My bowl is too small where I can shape um, this one. And I really had struggles. I need to admit, I, I need to buy a very big bowl to, to really shape such a big, um, yeah, such a big tray. But it's so funny. I was laughing with myself. But anyway, you will see the final result in a second. And I wonder what you are thinking. So this is the final result. So I actually succeeded. I think um, I achieved a quite nice shape and it has so much depth. And I think the colors are very beautiful with each other. The corners of the square 
bowl they are shaped, they are bended, and I think this is very, very beautiful. But anyway, please let me know what you think, and I hope you liked the video. Please remember to give me a thumbs up, and yes, see you for my next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.